Mail call. Okay, guys. Today we have a very rare spinner. This spinner was $100. I put the link in the description. You can buy it off Amazon. It's a $100 fidget spinner. And it is just fire. Let me just show you the box first. If you're wondering why the lid wasn't on the box, it's because the bar scan code was on it. So I couldn't show you guys that information. But this is the box. That's why my finger was over the barcode too. It comes nice like this. It's it even comes with a polishing cloth in case your spinner gets dirty or like fuzzy. Cause if you like put it in your pocket and fuzz comes out. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but there is fuzz in the packaging. You probably can't see it. You might be able to. Though. And the spinner is so well packaged that it gets its own pouch as a case. And it even has a, a salt packet, I think these are called, or something, to keep it fresher. I don't know what they're really called, though. Well, let's get right in to the spinner. Here is a $100 fidget spinner made of I think he said like four different metals brass stainless steel a little bit of copper a little bit of aluminum and some little bits of other metals too and the bearing is a 606 ceramic bearing. I think it is, uh, let me count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 count bearing. Yeah, it's a 9 count bearing. Most companies only have 7 balls in their bearing. So 9 is a nice thing to have. The spinner... For $100, you would expect it to be quiet, and yes, it is very quiet. I don't really know what the spin time is. The packaging says 6 to 8 minutes, but first spins always don't really get right up at it. I got like 3 minutes on my first spin. Now I'm getting about like 4 minutes and 32 seconds. So we're getting better and better as it like starts to pop in and... Bearing starts to work itself like a bearing should work. Besides that, the spinner is really nice. Like I said, because it has so many metals, it is fairly heavy, which is a good thing because you want your spinner to be heavy. And um, I really like the addition of the big caps because you can even fit two fingers on one side of the cap and two fingers and a thumb which I really like that um there's not really much more to say about the spinner it does have little details like little holes to make it the design better little grooves as you can see every single edge was rounded to make it easy for spinning and stuff like that Everything about this spinner is just amazing. It's perfectly balanced. Not one side is even like 0 .01 ounces or any the lowest measuring units more. They're all like exactly the same. And it's just an awesome spinner. When you're done with it, you put it back in the pack and it even has this little enclosing system so the spinner doesn't fly out if it accidentally tips over it gets caught that's pretty much it for the review or I guess you could call it unboxing see you guys next time